Wayne Thiebaud is an American painter who, as of 2020, is 99 years old and still alive. He is best known for paintings that show foods and treats like you'd see in a cake shop. He also painted landscapes and self-portraits. Thiebaud is famous for using paint in unexpected ways. For example, he used oil paint to recreate the look of frostings, whipped cream and custard. Also, Thiebaud's colors are more complicated than they seem. White frosting is not just white, it's also orange, blue, and beige. Today, you will recreate your own Thiebaud-inspired lollipops. To get started, you'll need two pieces of white paper, a pencil, something to trace three circles with, you can use a Tupperware container, markers, crayons, I have water and a brush, but you can also use watercolors and then popsicle sticks if you have them. If you don't, you can just draw the sticks. First thing, trace three circles on one of your white pieces of paper. Now, decorate the insides of your lollipops with crayons. I'm using crayons because I'm going to use the technique of wax resist, which is where I push really down hard with my crayons, and when I go over it later with water or watercolors, that wax will keep part of my paper from getting wet and will create this really cool effect. You can use spirals, you can do stripes, you can do stars, hearts, however you would like to decorate your lollipops. When you're done adding designs with crayons, go back over your lollipops with either markers or watercolor to completely fill them in. If you're using markers like me, you don't have to color it all the way in. We'll go back over it later with water to create the effect of a watercolor paint. If you have watercolor paint, wonderful. You can go over all of your lollipops.
This is where if you used markers like me, you'll go back over your lollipops with water to spread the pigment of those markers out. If you used watercolors, you can skip this step. Be careful not to use so much water that you get a hole in your paper. Before moving on, allow your paper to dry. Pause here until you're ready. When your paper is completely dry, go around and cut out all of your lollipops. Time for the background. Start with a straight line on the bottom, a rainbow to connect, and color it in to create your stand. Now draw your horizon line and completely color in the background, separating the top and the bottom half of your paper. All that's left to do is glue your lollipops down. I have popsicle sticks. If you don't have popsicle sticks, you can use just crayon or marker to create those straight lines down into your stand. First, glue the popsicle sticks or draw them. And then afterwards, you'll put the lollipops right on top. There are your Tebow-inspired lollipops. Yum!